Hey everyone and welcome back to part 30 of Bioshock 2. We are in the outer Persephone. It's been like a week unfortunately since I got a chance to play so let me just make sure I did indeed loot all the things. Yeah I'm pretty sure we did. We just got a, an upgrade over there. Don't even remember which one I upgraded but that's okay. I should still be fine here. So the outer Persephone and I think the next place is the inner Persephone. So there's not too much left unfortunately. Very much, unfortunately. I just make sure I do my thing and I loot everything. And I can't get that buck, obviously. Is that the turret from when I hacked? I think that's the turret from when I hacked earlier. Because you set off the alarm. Let's go ahead and we'll hack you. Hopefully we don't mess up. But I'll stand still. Oh, apparently that was a one one hack thing. Mitzi. It's Mitzel? That's a, that's a, no, no, that's an eye. Mitzi. Since he was just kind of inside my head there for a little bit, that was weird. That's also weird. Uh, I got some drill fuel, you know I like that. Some Eve hypos that I cannot use because I am full. Audio log. Cool. Persephone, secret home of Sinclair Solutions. I bet against Andy Ryan's vision of harmony and rapture, offered him a quiet place to send anybody who wasn't working out. And now I'm sitting on my own private think tank. Technically, Utopia shouldn't have much use for a detention facility. But if you do business as long as I have, well, you learn to pick a brand name from the writing on the wall. Some phosphorus buck. Nothing I can use in here. And there's money in here to spend as well. Um, was there anything I needed to purchase from the Ammo Bandito? Like anything at all? So let me just check. Uh, yeah, I don't think I can purchase anything at all. So no, the fact that we have a surplus of money, I'm just going to have to put up with that. I can do that. <laughs> I do still have to research the thuggish, not the thuggish, the brutish splicer, so I'm pretty sure we do encounter some here. I have to make absolutely freaking sure, though, I use the camera first. Absolutely sure. Quarantine area. Buzz, you're in the way, bro. Cash that I can't use. That's cool. Any loot up here? No? That's her, son. Eleanor Lamb. No matter what you might be feeling right now, this is business. Get that cage open. She's coming with us. Hold on, hold on, hold on. There's things to do. <laughs> Let's just look around real quick. Because I am pretty sure things go down here. Well, this thing's got a quick uh, timer. Be careful. Is this ammo bandito? No, it doesn't look like it has anything different. I think shit tries to kill me when I go near her, if I remember correctly. I could be wrong. So again, let me just uh, let's loot everything real quick. Hack all the machines, you know, the usual. There's a bunch of med kits just sitting all around. I really thought I hit the right on that. Oh my. Oh my. It's, all, it's almost like red. It's like glowing vines. Are you trying to tell me there's Adam in here? Door is locked. That's okay. Kind of expected that. Uh, I can't get the blue when they put it at the beginning like that. Again, nothing I can buy. Give me something I can purchase. Do it now. Nothing over here. No audio logs. Alright, so let's uh, find Eleanor Lamb. I have to use this thingy. New goal activate the quarantine chamber. Are you gonna wake up? Wake up, sleepyhead! Time to go to school! How will she remember us after this moment? I have placed my pieces on the board, as expected, as have you. Is this what she hoped for? Mother and father, locking eyes. Yet still we are blind. Goodbye, Subject Delta. And take heart, for you, at least, have escaped your legacy. Why do I feel like things are going to go down? Oh, well, that's because they're going down. It's a big sister. Multiple big sisters. 
<laughs> Let's, uh... I'll get some phosphorus buck put on him. I really have to focus one down. And I think some armor piercing would be the best while standing in the water as much as I can. Let's also make sure I equip Electro Bolt. It's stunning her whenever she charges. It's quite nice. I will beat you down, woman. I was gonna say I'd drill her, but uh I don't wanna stand in that water now, do I? I was gonna say I'd drill her, but that'd be a little bad. Nope, stay still. I'm gonna reload. Where is my mouse is switching? Nope! Nope! I I stunned you! You get out of here with that! No, I want my shotgun. Where'd you go? Stand still. Burn! Burn! No! Oops, did not hit me! Don't give me that! She missed me. It still hit me. Seems a little unfair. Hurry now! Quarantine chambers waiting on you. Get in there! Oh, oh! You hold your horses. I did not take the picture because we already researched him. So that's that. Now watch. If I let my, if I pick my mouse off of my mouse pad, it's like twitching. <laughs> I don't know what's going on here. Let me make sure nothing's in my mouse. Hey, look at that! It worked. I guess I had something in there. What are you waiting for, kid? I'm waiting for an invitation, old man. Calm your tits. I uh gotta make sure I'm reloaded and such, because I use some stuff. Alright. Alright. You, you okay, Sinclair? I got buckshot and things to buy. Now I can go get all kinds of money. Like even the money that should be on these guys' corpse. No, not that. That's not a corpse. That's not a corpse either. Uh, my God, they both they both had a hundred bucks on them. Dang. Look at her, Delta. Ten years. And still she dreams of you. 50 seconds remaining. Do you know why Eleanor brought you here? She wanted a father. So she found a way to restore you in body and mind. And she has been watching you ever since, exalting your every act as gospel. The girl lying on that bed is no longer my child, nor my life's work. She is a monster. Shaped by you alone. Just as she has always wanted. Twenty seconds remaining. But there is one detail of your mutual bond she failed to account for. Your body was designed to lapse into a coma when her heart ceases to beat. Eleanor, forgive me. <laughs> Naturally, but if he dies of trauma, he will return elsewhere. Full restraints at all times. No one enters this room until he expires. Father, it's me, Eleanor. I'm so sorry. Mother stopped my heart long enough to sever our bond. Staying near me won't stop you from dying now, or worse. But I can still help you escape. 
This little sister's brought you something that will allow you to take control of her. You have taken control of it, little sister. You can now use vents and gather atoms from body. Gather, gather atom from bodies. I know I this totally feels forgot a about strange, this. father. But now you can see through her eyes and tell her where to go. This is how I brought you back without mother catching on. Now, first, let's get you out of here. Like how she sees everything, like, all happy and... <laughs> it looks like nothing bad went Crawl down. The vent there. There's loot to be had, Eleanor. Hold your tits. So awkward. Going from the giant ass big daddy to a little sister. <laughs> Toy guns. Into the vent. Aren't I just adorable? Creepy. Good. Now, inside Mother's office, there's a way to unlock these chambers she's holding us in. Find a way to slip in there. I'm pretty sure that this is the containment center. Like, of course, we're seeing things differently. But this is the room where we fought the big sisters. Let's look around for things, like, you know, free monies. Little sister just gathered monies, you know. <laughs> what else is new? Uh, yeah, this is definitely the, the area. I am going to just check for loot before we go back. Like, Eve Hypers. Because I don't remember if this part makes me lose my weapons or not. Or, like, my ammo. You know, like in Bioshock 1, of course, when you put your weapons away and you lose all your ammo, that's, that's a little annoying. So I'm just gonna make sure I loot as much as I can. I think that's just about it anyway. This is why it's nice to have a whole bunch of money, because, you know, when something like this happens, go ahead and buy our ammo back. So it wants me to go in the vent, I'm assuming to get either in here or in there. Let me see, can I go in here? I really doubt it, because Eleanor's in there. No. You can definitely see in there. There's actually, there's an item glowing in here. I'm assuming we come in from in the back. That's creepy. That's what she said. Really? Hidey hole? <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Alright, into the hidey hole we go then. I always wondered what it'd be like to crawl into a vent. <laughs> that's just adorable. <laughs> I love it. She doesn't even look to see what the, what's at the other end of the vent. She just crawls out backwards. It's pretty dangerous. You're in. There should be a lever in here somewhere. Pull it, and it will unlock our cells. I'm sure that's totally a rose petal trail, and not blood. <laughs> this candles, man. That's, you gotta burn the place down putting candles like that. Alright, any more monies? Or, oh, look at that. Look at that. Money in the bookshelf. Glad I paid attention. Any free e hmm? Attention! Like, Augustus Sinclair has been sighted within the facility. He will attempt to reach Subject Delta. All family duties are hereby suspended until he is found. Can we suspend you? I don't know if she can catch us, I forget. But I want that money. I want the money. I want the money. Money get! Before I trigger that, is there anything back here? Like an audio log. Eleanor is changing as Delta draws closer. In her sleep, she mutters about having witnessed moments from his journey here. She is beginning to resist the moral conditioning. Eleanor's bond with Delta is turning her from the daughter of the people 
back into a rebellious child whose voice I do not recognize. Worse, I suspect Eleanor of direct involvement in his return. I fear that to separate them, I may have to, to take measures for which I will be unable to forgive myself. Wah, wah, I'm a mean bitch. Wah. Run away. What Mother did to me left me very weak, or I would do this part myself. To save your life, I'm going to have to change to be like you. From here, you should be able to locate the pieces of a big sister suit. Please, bring them to me. Duke, free med kit. <laughs> I love their party hat. <laughs> I love their blank stare. <laughs> creepy. Oh, hello. That's not creepy at all. Don't don't eat me. I don't happen to have a big drill and a gun, so I'm a little defenseless right now. But I'm practically immortal. Kind of. I do have weaknesses. I don't know. You're not gonna eat me, are you? No? You're not gonna eat me? No? Not eating me? Oh, okay, that's cool. Mother says that my condition is a blessing in disguise. She constantly reminds me that I was born for the express purpose of promoting her ideals. And now, she's trying to convince me to begin splicing with the same cocktail that drove Dr. Alexander mad. She thinks that my condition makes me immune to the damage. The surface is my only chance at freedom. But Mother took the one person I knew from above and murdered him in front of my eyes. Father, if I could only find a way to bring him back. I say daddy's home, but I'm a little sister right now. It doesn't really work. Suddenly butterflies throw back the grace. Holloway. Angel. Gathered the angel, man. Creepy. Adam good. Then it suddenly goes back to like this peaceful dream world. <laughs> now you know what they mean by angels, Mr. B. Now you know. Nothing back there. Can I gather some more? All good girls gather. And that's weird. Okay. So we got some free Adam out of that. I'm okay with this. And okay, I was gonna say, can I not take that? This girl, this girl's got deep pockets, man. Damn. You're not gonna, you're not gonna eat me, are you? That's my money. Fuck you. That's right. Run away. Run away. Dick. <laughs> Big Daddy! Anybody gonna try to eat me in here? No? Okay. I can't help but feel there's probably more of those little Easter eggs. Like if we went back and mess around with more people. Angel! Daddy is the best. Yes, he is. And by that I mean me. <laughs> uh, it wants me to go here, so hold up. Let's just make sure this door's not open. Ten years, oh, that, that's open. Run away. Stuck in this. This fever dream. Mother kept me sedated in order to perfect my mind with Adam. To her, the ideal child is a genius, serving the common good without questioning it. You have saved me from that. There's a piece of the suit in here, Father. Find the rest and bring them back to me. Like, how soon as you leave the suit, you go back to, like, the pseudo, you know, rapture. Not real rapture, fake rapture. Whatever you want to call it. Happy rapture. <laughs> That's weird. All the meanwhile, I'm in, like, a freaking prison and there's dead people everywhere. But no, it's happy and cheerful all of a sudden. <laughs> this is different. Don't don't give me those looks. D don't, no. No, no. No, no rapists. No. I feel like I'm supposed to enter this vent. 
I kind of want to see what happens if I try to go past them. You gonna eat me? Okay. I'm gonna go in the vent because I wonder if it's a secret. See what happens if we go in the vent. Don't know. Let me go in the vent. Don't attack me. Okay, we're good. <laughs> I totally forgot about this part of the game. Like, 100%. I don't know why I don't remember it. Aha! Atoms and money. It is worthwhile to explore. Did that door just open? And then close, because I think it did. Yeah, it did. I'm assuming that's going to open it. So let's gather some atoms. From them angels. No, 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 stick in his eye. It'd be funnier. Forty each time? That's okay by me. He didn't look like that a minute ago. He wasn't wearing that suit. Circuit breaker. Mysteriously worked. Now you gonna attack me? No? Yeah, no? Yeah. Okay. I still don't trust you. I don't trust you guys. I don't trust you. <laughs> I feel defenseless. Repair shop. This does not look like a repair shop to me. Nothing in there. I have a feeling it's going to be like a piece of a suit or something. What? Let's say Stanley something. There's the helmet. So she's going to talk here in a sec, so hold on. No? Okay, I'll play the audio log. I've been quarantined, but Mother's unaware of the extent of my connections to the new little sisters. I don't just empathize with them. I can control them directly. Daddy meets Uncle Stanley. They are my hands and my eyes now. Better yet, we have found Father's body and took a gene sample. The girls are hiding the samples inside those dolls we used to make. It's only a matter of time before I work out a way to rig one of those Vita chambers to seek his genetic signature. And then, I can't wait to see Mother's face. I wonder if that's like a bug or something. This seems like it's not supposed to be that bright. Maybe when we go back to regular Rapture, we'll be able to see it. I don't know. But it's so bright, I can't see it without using the subtitle text. The sisters are made from me, in part. As they grow up in Rapture, I feel it all. When you were with the little ones, they trusted you as their father because of me. No, I'm just the best dad there ever was. Don't try to take credit. <laughs> uh, there was an angel in here. How do I get there? I can do it right there. Okay, let's just make sure there's nothing back here. Alright. Surely something's gonna go down because there's people here when I go to harvest. Oh, this worries me, but... Upward. Oh, no, I see them. They're to my right. They're to my right. I want to see what they're doing. What are they doing? Harvest quicker. Why are they just standing there? Seems weird. So, I, I get that she sees things differently, but why aren't they attacking? You know, you, normally when you see a little sister without a big daddy, they're always, you know, going for her. Because they want the Adam. I don't, I don't know, why, why don't they attack me? That's weird. Is that... Oh, okay, that's the... Uh, I think that's... Back, we couldn't get in this way earlier. I'm hearing something glow or glisten. That's probably what I was hearing. Okay. The quest items always make that glimmery sound. <laughs> I, I, I. Oh, that's awesome. I love the way that this looks. Like going to the cheesy, like happy rapture, then coming back to real rapture. Oh, it looks so much better. <laughs> I'm home! <laughs> so we completed that. Is it going to let me through the door now? Looks like it. Yep. Mother was right about one thing. I have been watching you, Father. Studying the way you have treated others. And now I know who I am. 
I've never actually been an asshole in this game. Okay, I have been an asshole, but not not in the, the sense of the word like I'm I'm using it here. I've never actually harvested the little sisters. I'm not, I'm not a tool. I'm assuming her personality, the way she acts from the rest of the game onward, is dependent on what you do. You know, like if you harvest the sisters or if you free the sisters. Kind of like in Bioshock 1, there's different endings. But I think she acts different depending on your actions. I am free. Ah. After everything Mother has done to me, I am alive and sane enough to be curious about the sun. When you rescued my new sisters, I felt every one. And it gave me hope for the first time in years. So I wonder what happens if I killed him. <laughs> Did I kill her a hundred times over? That doesn't sound very pleasant. Not seeing any new loot or anything like that. That door opens. Now I think we get rid of the suit pieces here. Yeah. And before I do that, no, let me go around you because there's loot to be had. Can't, can't go back there. Can't loot this. There's money here. I'll take that. There's a toilet. I'm not going to use that. More med kits. Is that it? Is that what I saw? Yeah, I think that's what I saw glowing. Oh, hello. Take that. We've done it. Father is back. Right under Mother's nose. I've contacted a woman named Tenenbaum through my sisters. We've worked out a way to free his mind inside that suit to awaken the man inside the monster. Mother's entire belief structure is corrupt. And if I know one thing about Father, it's that he will believe and escape. Eleanor, it is time for you to accept your duty to the people. When you awake, you'll understand. No! Get away from me! Give Big Sister a suit. Here you go! That was quick. Now, I will do the same for all the others. Starting with this one. No, no, please, no, not there! <laughs> oh, oh! I'm kidding, by the way, that, that's You've creepy. done it, Father. I'll be there soon. Do I have my weapons back now? Hey, it's a brutish one. I can research you. I need to research you. These suits always did make me think of you, Father. I guess I still remember you in shining armor. But now it's my turn to fight for you. My suit's not exactly shining. Max plasma slots. You can use it to call me to your side in a fight. Why the hell is she red? What? What? Why is that even potentially an option? That's rude. It's also hilarious, but it's rude. <laughs> Interesting. Interesting. Yeah, that's right. There's all that money here we couldn't use earlier. Okay. I was wondering when I was looting there for a second. I wasn't looking. Let's take the plasma. I think it's the security thing? Nope. Something Eleanor. Oh, I remember this thing. I think it uses your whole E bar. Someone in an Eleanor in a big sister suit. Blah, blah, blah. Someone for a little help. Just a little. That's funny. If I had a different plasma, I'd be like, yeah, I'm going to use this and not you. Sorry. Where do I get that ability? Where do I get that one? <laughs> so we can summon her now, and she fights for you for a little bit, and then she goes away, just you know, like the thing tells you. But it's time to wrap the episode up, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.